What's up everybody? Fresh beer review for you on tap. I got this from my main man Todd at the Upstate Beer Geek on Instagram and Facebook. And it is one of my favorite, favorite styles, a Czech dark lager. The best type of lager is a dark lager. It's from Cerebral Brewing. So let's get Cerebral and I'll let you know how you can get some merch from Shavara X right after the theme song. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Upstate Studio with your Showing Up Make to Palmetto for another beer review. That's one of the things we do here on this channel. But first, let me tell you, if you want some swag like I'm rocking right here from Stravara X, work your way on down to the description. Click the link, click the link below. Or it's your fun, I use them goodly. Shout out to Imperfectly Me Crafts. Click that link, go to the Stravara X website and use the code NUTMEG15 for a discount at checkout. So. This one, like I said, dark lager. Best kind of lagers are dark lagers. I'll coin that. It'll be like Westie is bestie. <laughs> and uh, I do love a dark lager. So this is from Cerebral. I imagine that must be the brewery's logo right there. Uh, that's obviously a brain on the front of the label. And then uh, you got this other floral artistry fern looking logo on there that might be the uh logo of the um, the beer and it's a specific design for the beer the colors in that logo match these three stripes on the bottom temnota 13 degrees which on untapped it just says temnota check dark lager from cerebral brewing uh what do we got store cold drink fresh when did todd give this to me i don't even remember i don't see a date on the can it is a lager though, so it's not, uh, it's not incredibly um, pertinent that it gets drank super fresh. Obviously all beer is better fresh, but it's lager. So I mean, they said time in the oak, time in oak, I guess that's barrels. Time in oak barrels, two weeks. Time in stainless, much be the fermenter, six weeks. Oak type, American oak filter, uh, grist, pilsner, Cara Bohemian, Pale Chocolate, Cara Munich, Cara Munich, and Black Malt. Uh, hops are Zuper Sazer and Saz. Saz is obviously pretty common in Pilsners and whatnot. Never heard of Zuper Sazer though. Uh, is that a Super Saz? Super Saz. Super Soaker. Uh, four and a half alcohol by volume, which is confirmed on untapped. No IBUs are listed. They do put the recommended glass for however, I do not have a mug like that. So we're gonna use the bubble gum, the bubble gum glass. <clears throat> Not a ton of check ins, 322 total, 294 unique. However, the beer does have its own logo, the one that's on the can. Of those 260 rankings, for four even on the nose. That's pretty solid for a lager, especially on Untapped. It just lists the hops again, tasting notes, light roast coffee, raisinette, toasted rye bread. So, shakluk, as one flight down says. Almost had an explosion on my hands there. Hard pour on this channel. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to cheat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Set that down so you can admire that camera. Oh, look at the cascade. Running, I, I say run up the glass, it's kind of running down, like the bubbles go down and the foam goes up. So uh, there is zero chance of light getting through that, even for like the little brown edge going around the bottom and the sides of the glass, there's still not a lot of light going through there. So that is very, very dark. Can you see me? You cannot see me through there. All of the shout outs. Okay, the aromatics, you do get the, that chocolate and roasty chocolate, not a lot of coffee. They do get a lot of roasty chocolate, that's very nice. 
but it's a, but it's pretty subtle. It's not falling in your face. It's just strong enough for you to notice it. Overall, uh, I like that aroma very much. That's solid. Cheers. Definitely got more foam than beer on that one. Remember, kids, beer foam turns into beer. <sighs> this taste, how many times does this happen? I guess it's probably more common in lagers than anything. This tastes exactly how it smells. It's that light roastiness. There's a little bit more of a bitter burn on the back end, but it's a light roasty chocolate note. There's a little bit more about that malt burn on, on the back end of your palate. Uh, very, very tasty and very easy to crush. Yeah, you could chug this very easily. Yeah, it's um, it's got it's, the body's a bit thin. It's it's not thin like a traditional pilsner or a American light lager, but it is pretty thin. It's not it doesn't have a big meaty body like a uh, porter or stout or anything like a dark beer of, of that type of nature. But it's a it's a very it's it's quite light bodied for the flavors it has, and of course the color. Not too shabby. Shout out again to the Upstate Beer Geek for this one. And if you want Stravara X merchandise, head on down to the description. Click the link and use code NUTMEG15 nutmeg for a discount. Cheers, everyone. See you next time.